believers, in today's video I am doing the Unpopular Opinions book tag. Yeah! This tag gets so controversial and people say things and I'm just like, what? You don't like this? Or I'm like, what? You like this? And it just gets really funny and I've seen people put disclaimers in their videos so I'm going to put a disclaimer in mine that please don't be offended if I don't like something that you like or that if I do like something that you hate. Um, this is just my um, Unpopular Opinions. <laughs> series that you didn't like. Now, I've touched on this one before and that is for me the Divergent series which is quite disappointing to me because I really really loved this book and I was so looking forward to the rest of the series. Unfortunately, the rest of the series was a very big letdown and so I'm, I'm going unpopular with this one. I no longer like the Divergent series. Question two is a popular book or series that everyone seems to hate but that you love. Now this one I would say is quite old but still people seem to really really hate it but I actually really liked it and that is The Twilight Series by Stephanie Mayer. I read it like not that long ago and I gotta say I, I like it. Sorry, I like Twilight. I do. Question three is a love triangle where the main character ended up with the person you did not want them to end up with or an OTP which you did not like. So I'm going to go for both in this case. This is in a series, um, I don't want to give spoilers so let me figure out how to say this, but basically there's a love triangle and the main character ends up with the person I did not want her to end up with. I was all about one ship in particular and it didn't work out and I was very upset about that and then the series continues and she ends up with somebody completely out of the triangle and um, yeah I'm not impressed I'm not I'm not happy about this um, I hope that wasn't too spoilery if you found that what I just said was spoilery then skip to this in the video that will be when I'm done saying what series this is from and that was Selena Sodafian in the throne of glass series I had such high hopes for her I was so excited and then she went in a completely different direction and then an even bigger different direction and I'm not happy. No, I'm not happy. Question four is a popular book genre that you hardly reach for. Now, I have to say for this one, it's not that I don't want to read that genre, it's not that I don't like that genre, it's just that I seem to be a creature of habit and I always seem to go for the same thing. Even though I see it, I'm like, well that could be nice and then I'm like, but look at that book, look at that book. So I seem to not pick up YA contemporary, or just contemporary in general, I must say. Question five is a popular slash beloved character that you do not like. So I've kind of touched on this one a little bit already. The person that I don't particularly like, that everyone seems to love, and I'm still trying to just grasp why, is Rowan from the Throne of Glass series. I don't get it. I mean, he... he he wasn't very nice in the beginning, and like now, okay, he's okay, but I don't understand this amazing, like, why people love him so much. I don't see it. I have not fallen in love with Rowan. I mean, I fell in love with Dorian, I fell in love with Kale. I have not connected with Rowan. I don't understand why everyone loves him. I, I just... Question six is a popular author that you just can't seem to get into. Now, to be fair, I've only given this author one chance, so I might go back and give them another chance. But for me, that is Hira Mafi, the infamous author of the Shadow Me series, which everyone is talking about and everyone seems to really love it. And apparently I should continue with the series. And I did enjoy this book, but I just... I felt like the descriptions that some people are just like, this is amazing, oh my gosh, it's so poetic, it's so great, for me just felt a little bit like overkill, and I was just like, shush, shush, what is the story, tell me the story, not what blue the sky is in three pages, it just felt Question seven is a popular book trope that you are kind of tired of seeing. Some examples were a corrupt ruler, love triangles, lost princess. Now I love a lot of these tropes, but one trope that I don't like is love triangles. I don't know why. I mean, it's okay, and I suppose it adds a little bit of a dynamic to the relationship, but I just, sometimes it just feels very useless, especially when it turns to like cheating and stuff. Ah! So yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of love triangles, particularly when it involves some kind of weird cheating thing. It just makes me not like the character, and no.
Question 8 is a popular book series that you have no interest in reading. For me, I think that would be The Maze Runner. Now, I've heard it's really, really good, and I've heard that the movies are even better, but the thing for me is that I'm a bit of a wuss. And I tried The Maze Runner movie, and it just got a bit, just a bit too dark and yicky for me. And at the end, I was just like, you know what? I'm not gonna do this to myself. Apparently the second one is even more scary. I don't like zombies at all. Zombies freak me out. So I was just like, you know what? No, I'm not gonna watch this movie series and I'm not gonna read this book series, which I was considering if I liked the movie, but no, just no. Question nine is, the saying goes, the book is always better than the movie. But what movie or TV show did you think did it better than the book? Now, until this year, I probably would not have had an answer for this question because I always, always, always seem to love the books more than the movie, except this one book, and that is Outlander. I liked this book, but there were parts of it that I didn't really like, and Jamie is the character that I wasn't entirely sure about in this book because he seemed a little bit abusive and aggressive and violent. However, in the show, he is amazing, and the show is amazing. I have to say that, yeah, until this year I didn't have an answer for this, but now I can definitely say that I love Outlander series more than I loved Outlander book. And that is the end of the Unpopular Opinions book tag. Let me know if any of my answers surprised you, or if you agreed with any of them. And yes, as I mentioned briefly in the beginning of this video, I am just back from the States. I got back the day before yesterday, so I am extremely jet lagged, which I didn't think would actually happen, but my first night back, I did not sleep. My second night, which was last night, I slept, but I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning, and then I couldn't get back to sleep until about 5, and then I wanted to wake up again at 7, so I was like, okay, I'll just do a couple more hours, and I ended up waking up at 9.30, so, I mean, 9.30 is not terrible, but it's just not it's just two and a half hours later than I wanted to. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting to see how long this jet lag takes to get over, but I am back and I will be uploading videos on time again. And yes, I'm happy to be back in Dubai and I'm happy to be back with all my books. And um, I had a really good holiday and I will be doing a vlog update. I filmed us while we were away. So I'll be doing a vlog update very, very soon. So I'll be showing you Vegas and I'll be showing you the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and I'll be showing you Disney World. Oh my gosh, it was great. It was great! But yes, I'll get to that in another video. Until next time, I'll see you. Bye!